I become a known fugitive. Chapter 14 of Percy Jackson. I'd love to tell you I had something deep relative on my way down. Now I came to terms with my own mortality. Laughed in the face of death of uncertainty. The truth, my only thought was, ah! The river faced toward me at the spin at the truck. When tripped the breath from my lungs, steeped in skyscrapers and bridges, trembled in out of my vision, and then, flaboom! A white house of bubbles. I sank through the mark, sure that I was above to end up embedded in hundreds feet of mud and lost forever. But my impact with the water hadn't hurt. I was falling slowly now. Bubbles tricked up. Though my fingers I set, I settled on the river bottom soundless and catfish the size of my stepfather lurched away into the gloom. Clouds of slit and disgusting garbage beer Beer bottles, old shoes, plastic bags swirled up all around me. At the point, I realized a few things first. I had not been flattened into a pancake. I had not been barbecued. I couldn't even feel the shimmering po- poison boiling in my veins. Couldn't even feel the... No... I couldn't feel the poison boiling in my veins anymore. I was alive, which was good. Second realization, I wasn't wet. I mean, I could feel the coolness of the water. I couldn't see where the fire on my clothes had been welched. But when I touched my own shirt, I felt perfectly dry. I looked at the garbage bag. No, I looked at the garbage floating by the snack and old cigarette lighter. No way, I thought. I flicked the lighter and sparked tiny flame appear right there at the bottom of the Mississippi. I grabbed a soggy hamburger wrapped around out of the current. And now mainly in paper turned dry. I lit I lit it with no problem. Soon I let it go. The flames spurted out and the wrap turned back to a slimy rag. Weird the wraps turned back into a slimy rag. Weird, but the strangest thought occurred to me. Only last, I th- I was breathing. I was underwater and I was breathing normally. I stood up through deep in mud. Most legs felt shaky. My hands trembled. I could, I should have been dead. The fact that I wasn't seemed like, well, a miracle. I imagined a woman voice, a voice that sounded a bit like my mother's. Percy, what do you say? Um, thanks? Underwater? I sounded like I did on recording like a much older kid. Thank you, Father. No response. No response. Just a dark drift of garbage down river. The enormous catfish gliding by a flash of sunset on the water surface far above, turning everything the colors at the butterscotch of butterscotch. Why had Poseidon saved me? Then more I thought about it, more ashamed, ashamed I felt. So I gotten lucky a few times before against I 
I've gotten lucky a few times against a thing like Trima. I've never stood a chance. Those poor people in the ark were probably toast. I could have protected. I could have protected them. I was no longer maybe. I should just stay down here with the catfish joining the bottom fleeters. Flump, flump, flump. A riverboat paddle wheel turned above me, swirling a silt around me. There, not five feet in front of me, was my sword. Its gleaming brown hilt stilking up in my mind. I heard that woman's voice again. Percy, take the sword. Father believes in you. This time I knew the voice wasn't in my head. I wasn't imagining it. Her words seemed to come from anywhere, rippling through the water like dolphins. Sonnet, where are you? I called aloud. Then, though the glooms, I saw her, a woman, the color of the water, a ghost in the curtain, curtain floating just above the sword and had long bill bill wooing hair and her and her eyes barely visible were green like mine a lumped ford in my throat i said mom no child only a messenger though your mother's fate is not as hopeless as you believe go to the beach in San Mon, Mon Isca. What? It is your father's will. Before you descend into Water World, you must go to Santa Montana. Please, Percy, I cannot stay long. The river, stay long. The river here is too full of my presence. But I was sure this woman was my mother or a virgin. There was no such. I was just to ask. The words jammed up in my throat. I cannot take. I cannot stay, brave one. The woman said. She reached out. I felt the current push my face like a careness. You must go to Santa Moncana and do not trust the gifts. Her voice faded. Gifts? I asked, what gifts? Wait! She made one more attempt to speak, but the sound waves gone. Her, imag her image melted away. If it was my mother and had lost her again, I felt like drowning myself and not no, an only problem I was immune to drowning your father believes in you she had said she'd also cover, called me brave unless she was talking to the catfish I waded toward riptide and grabbed it by the hilt the chimmer might still be up there with its snaky fat mother waiting to finish me off at the very least the mortal police would be arriving trying to figure out who'd have blown a hole in the ark if they found me they had had some questions I kept my sword stuck in the ballpoint pen in my pocket Thank you, Father, I said again to the dark water. Then I kicked up the, the muck and swamp from the surface. I came ashore next to a floating McDonald's. A block away, every emergency vehicle in St. Louis was surrounding the ark. Police helicopters circled overhead. The crowd of overlookers reminded me of Times Square. New Year's Eve, a little girl said, Mama, 
That boy walked out of the river. That's nice, dear, her mother said, craning her neck to watch the ambulance. But he's dry. That's a nice, dear. The news lady was talking for a for the camera, probably not a terrorist attack. We're told, but it's still very early in the invest- investigation. The damage, as can seen, is very serious. We're trying to get to some of the survivors to question them about the eyewitness report of falling, of someone falling off from the ark. Survivor, I felt a surge of relief. Maybe the park ranger and that family made it out safely. I hoped Annabeth, Annabeth and Grover made it. Okay. I tried to push through the crowds, see what was going on inside the police, the, the police line. An obsolete boy, a, another reporter was saying, Channel 5 was learning that surveillance cameras show an absolute boy going wild on the observation deck, somehow setting off this freak explosion. Hard to believe, John, but that was where, hearing again, no confirmed fatalities. I backed away, trying to keep my head down. I had to go a long way around the permi- police per- perimeter, perimeter informed officers and news reporters were everywhere had almost lost hope of ever fearing Annabeth and Glover were familiar voices blaming Percy I turned and got tackled by Grover bear hug or goat hug he said we thought you'd gone to Hades to the hard way. Annabeth stood behind him, trying to look angry, but even she seemed relieved to see me. But can't we can't leave you alone for five minutes? What happened? I sort of fell. Percy, 630 feet behind us? I, a cop shouted, Gangway! The c- crowd parted, and a couple of paramedics hustled out, rolling a woman on a stretcher. I recognized her immediately as the mother and little boy who'd been on the observation deck. She was saying, And then a huge dog, this huge fire breathing chinchilla. Okay, Mama, the paramedic said. Just calm down. Your your family is fine. The paramedic is starting to kick in. I'm not crazy. This boy jumped out of the hole and the monster disappeared. Then she saw me. There is it. There he is, that boy. I turned quickly and pulled Annabeth. And Grover after me. We disappeared into the crowd. What's going on? Annabeth demanded. Was she talking about the chinchilla on the elevator? I told them the whole story of the chimera adenina. My highway act and the underwater lady messenger. Whoa, said Grover. We've got... To get to the Santa Montana? Santa Monica? You can't ignore a summons from your dad. Before Annabeth could respond by passing through another reporter doing a news break. And I almost froze in my tracks when he said, Percy Jackson. That's right. Dan Dan Channel. Twelve, twelve has learned that the boy who may have caused this explosion fits the description. A young man wanted authorities for a series. New Jersey, but 
accident three days ago, and the boy is believed to be traveling west for our viewers at home. Where is the photo of Percy Jackson? Where is the photo of Percy Jackson? We ducked around the news van and slipped into the alley. First, first things first, told Grover. We get to we we've got to get out of this town. Somehow we made it back to Amtrak station without getting spotted. We got on board the train. Just before it pulled out of for Denver, that train trund- trundled west. As the darkness fell, police lights still posing against the St. Louis skyline behind us.